Well, hey there, folks. It's Perry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to Southeast Louisiana. Hey there, everyone. It is February 14th, Valentine's Day, 2023. Out here throwing some fondant on some hives that I found were light yesterday. Um, and I just, I have to put fondant on the colony we looked at that we thought was weak and in the last video I showed you wasn't actually weak. It's the one we did all the beetle in interventions on. Now I want to start by saying I normally don't do all those beetle interventions but I threw the kitchen sink at it kind of for the sake of the video and to see what they did and also to be sure that I didn't let this thing succumb to hive beetles when I thought it was weak. The strength is plenty now to maintain any beetle population but I am going to open it up and see did we catch anything in the traps what worked I don't think the Swiffer worked it didn't look like it had any in it or maybe when we smashed those 20 or so beetles together on that lid or actually I just did it because I didn't video that uh maybe we got a good majority of them out of the way and they controlled the rest and who knows so let's see if they did anything with these beetle interventions um and we'll go from there but remember what I always say, and what I truly believe, 100% strong colonies, that's how we maintain uh, uh, superiority over the beetles. That and uh, any types of ground drenches you may do to stop the uh, larvae from pupating. Whether it be, some people like diamantaceous earth, salt, vinegar, tar paper, uh, pesticides, whatever it may be. That's the only other thing I know to do uh, besides strong colonies that really does seem to put the kibosh on the beetles other than that let the bees maintain them keep them strong but again we could not keep this one strong because you know middle of january february time frame just not a possibility to strengthen it all right let's go in and see what it looks like i know the font it's about gone now it's quite overcast i'm dodging rain trying to build that comb back up in there uh, so they're eating but it's not the greatest day in the world but let's just take a little bit of I don't know how they'll act let's just take a quick look at what we got I see one beetle all right let's see what the Swiffer did that beetle's still alive So we got what two beetles in there one just now got in there probably knocked him off the lid um, there's some more they're hung up but I got one two three four five hey that's not bad let's get the bees off of there I don't want my bees hung up on there Come on off of there. So we did catch beetles in that. That's a good thing. As far as bees, I see two dead bees on it. So I caught two bees. Well, actually three bees got caught on it. Versus about, what, six or seven beetles? So... This box is going to require a deep pretty soon. As far as beetles, the trap only caught one on this side. I'll leave it in there since there's no reason not to at this point. Now again, these the, the knockoffs just didn't seem to work. Oh, I know what I want. I want to tip this up. Let's see what the bottom. There's a beetle underneath it. So one got away and none in this one. Again, these knockoffs don't seem to do anything. I'm going to leave them out for now and tip the bottom. 
All right, this is on a plastic bottom board. Oh, goodness. Let's see what the bottom looks like here. Decent cluster. They grew pretty well. That's a pretty cluster right there. That's a solid cluster. So I'm going to give them another week or so before I put a deep on. But they're all the way out here to these frames. Here are nine frames. They need another frame. I might put another frame in here uh, pretty quick as well. But not tonight. I don't want to disturb them more than I already have. Okay, so folks, this colony is spread from over here. This is basically nine frames. I don't run nine frame boxes, but I think I'd run out of frames or whatever. I forget why, but they're packed all the way across. Um, I didn't see major drone brood sticking out of the bottom of the frames or anything like that, but I would say that these bees will need a box pretty quick. Um, I am going to put another fondant on here because I'm not going to get to them this weekend. So I want to put one on for them to have to eat. But then uh, they're already trying to build bridge comb on me. Uh, so they're definitely probably got some nectar in here. Seems like the weight's up pretty good on this box now. But I'll still keep some fondant on them. And uh, they'll, they'll start really going through it quick uh, as far as stores when they build. So that's all we wanted to check on didn't see much of anything with any of these interventions but in the end i'm seeing like one or two beetles and that's it so that's a good thing and this colony is now strong enough to take care of itself they pulled a fast one on me made me think they were weak they're not weak they're actually doing very very well and this will be a box it'll be a production colony uh here in the next who two and a half months that's right production in two and a half months that's crazy to think about. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little trip through the yard. I'm going to go ahead and get busy putting fondant on all these colonies real quick. Just throwing some shims and fondant on the light ones and got to get busy and get going. So, this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike and I do bees. Welcome to the 2023 bee season. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week and may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.